Well, what needs to happen urgently is that, you know, the current international match calendar, which sort of fixes when national team windows are and when international competitions take place, needs to be renegotiated. Um, it runs out after next year and we need to set a new calendar. And what's happened so far is that all the conversations about restructuring the calendar are based on the ideas of improving or scaling competitions rather than focusing on, okay, what does a balanced calendar look like for club and national team football, for domestic competitions, international competitions, but also for health and, and, and well-being of the players. And that's always taking the, the back seat towards the commercial interest of changing competition formats. And um, well, we're currently in talks with, um, with what's called the World League Forum, which is the umbrella organization of the professional leagues, but also in talks with FIFA that for this next calendar, we urgently need some agreements around it um, to provide those minimum protections for the players. That also allows, of course, as a club to know that you have your player that you pay a salary for at full capacity, but also allows um, the player to get onto playing the national team matches, which are some of the highlights of their careers. And unless we get to a negotiated solution between the different competition organizers and the players in all of this, this problem will only continue. And what we're seeing now is that, of course, especially when you look at the women's game, there is now talk of um, some of the confederations hosting um, their continental championships in the same spring before the Olympics in 2024. How are players supposed to do that? How are they supposed to play a one month continental competition in May and then play the Olympics in July when their season, like in the NWSL, maybe runs from March to, to October? They'll be missing three months of club football effectively. And all these things are just not decided with the player's best interest in the center of the decision making. And that's that's where we have this continuous problem. And until we break that cycle, we'll we'll keep having these problems.